Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to say this now, my voice might be a little bit like croaky, um, don't really know why but here we are. So the other day I went shopping and you may think, oh my god, you got loads of stuff. I really didn't. I got one bag from Primark. <laughs> Don't get too excited, but I'm going to show you it because I thought it might be interesting. I did only get stuff from like one section, if that makes any sense. You'll get what I mean by it when I show you the things. I'll try and make this little haul exciting. Um, I have fully like ripped my bag. That was going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> um, I've like ripped all the handles, but I wanted to use some of the stuff today, so I'm going to film it in advance and then upload it. So, first of all, I got this sports bra that says breathe on the side. Um, it is a size small, never have been a small, which is a 10 to 12 and um it was five pound it's also part of their like recycled range so like it's made up of like recycled plastics it has padding in the boob area i believe you can take them out oh maybe you can't sometimes you can with these let me see let me see for you all oh yeah you can take them out if you want to um, but for me, sports bras with a bit of padding, I prefer them just because I feel like they're more supportive, even if it's just like a little cup. Um, but yeah, so size small, £5, and it's just plain black with breathe. Um, I will say, I did want the matching colour to the shorts I got. I'll show you the shorts after, but they didn't have like a sports bra that was matching, which was a bit annoying. But I got these coral shorts, they look very bright. Um, they are a size medium, which is a 12 to 14. And these were £5 as well, also in the uh, recycled range. So they're made from like old plastic. I have not tried these on yet. Um, I haven't even took them off the hanger but I'm hoping that they will be okay. I'll have to let you know, like, on um, my Instagram, cheeky little plug, um, whether they stayed up. I might actually wear them today. I've got, like, a little dance workout to do. Um, so I'm going to wear this and the sports bra because I don't often wear shorts for my workouts, believe it or not. I usually wear like just leggings but now it's getting a bit hotter I thought um, I should invest in some shorts and I saw these online somewhere before I went and I was like oh my god I love the colour I just feel like they had a matching sports bra that was the same colour but I couldn't see it and then next I got a pair of <laughs> five socks. These are very bright, as you can see. There's purple, pink, yellow, I was going to say green, blue, and another pink. Oh, I guess this one is like the coral colour that they call the uh, shorts that I have. These were £3. They're microfiber, lightweight, trainer liner. Um, I just picked them up because I needed some short socks. No in doubt, my mum will definitely be wearing half of these because we have, kind of, well, I think she's a size seven and I'm a size six. So like um, most of the socks that we have, she, we share basically uh, half the time. I try and get ones that I can, I will like be like, they're my socks. <laughs> I also got these resistance bands. I was gonna walk into Primark and be like, I do want resistance bands, um, but I doubt they'll have any. Um, resistance bands are so expensive. If you get a set of three like this, like this was four pound, like that's great. I have not tried them obviously yet because they're still all in the packaging. 
um, and I don't need them today but I'll be sure to let anyone know who wants to know if you leave a comment um, or ask me on my Instagram I will let you know how these um, resistance bands go they've got three there's like light medium and oh yeah heavy um, so like obviously the lighter colour is the more stretchy one and then it gets harder resistance as you go down in colour which is very clever and it's £4. If I was to try and get these somewhere else I feel like I would pay like double the amount for three of these so that was very good. They also had the ones where you stand on and pull like with your arms um, but these bum ones were the ones that I wanted to try and get that summer booty <laughs> and not very exciting not from Primark um, I got two deodorants from Boots the Mitchum ones I've got um, Triple Odor Defense um, and then I've got Oh, that one's unscented, and this one is powder fresh. I didn't actually read what it said. I just looked at the different colours and was like, oh, I haven't had this one. <laughs> um, so that's fun. They're like a cream um, deodorant rather than like a normal liquid roll-on or like a spray. Um, I like these so much better because they don't irritate my armpits as much because I have had some proper problems with my armpits like I have like burnt them it's just crazy um, so yeah these Mitchum roll-on creams um, are quite good I'm still a very sweaty person so <laughs> um, they can do their job as well as they can but you know have to live with being a bit sweaty <laughs> um we did go in h&m well we did go in like a lot of other shops and i nearly bought these two things from h&m i nearly bought these lilac flares and this yellow dress editing steph guess what i bought the yellow dress <laughs> i went back into well i went into town rather than where i went to and um, me and my friend, we walked round there for a while and then we went back into H&M. It was a different one though. And I completely forgot about um, the dress. Well, I didn't completely. Like, it was still, like, in the back of my mind. And there's always that thing where it's like, if you're still thinking about it, 24 hours onwards, get it or do it. And then I found the dress and George was like, oh my god, that's the dress. And I was like, oh. um, so yeah, I bought it. I'll insert some photos because I'm so happy I bought it. But yeah, that was my little haul. I hope you liked it. I hope you did, my voice didn't annoy you too much by being a bit, little bit crackly. And overall, I think... How much did I spend in Primark? Um, overall, I literally spent £17 in Primark, so that is great um like for all that it would have probably cost like a good over 30 pound if i was to get like a higher brand i'm gonna live my best life and pop them on now to do a workout and yeah hope your shops near you are open hope you're shopping safe make sure to keep your mask on keep you distant from people <laughs> stay hydrated because it's getting a bit warmer and yeah let me know what other items you picked up in Primark I have noticed that different Primarks have different things because I saw loads of people with really cute stuff but I just didn't see any unless I wasn't looking hard enough <laughs> um, but R1 is a bit of hit and miss we do have another one that's like further away um, but I like the one that's closer to me better <laughs> it's a newer one and it's just a little bit cleaner so <laughs> yeah thanks for watching give it a big thumbs up if you did please subscribe if you haven't already that would mean a me that would mean the world i am actually losing subscribers but um it's only my fault um the lockdown has uh kind of ruined my content because i can't really vlog in the house because my other family members don't really want to be on camera 
and obviously with the whole lockdown I've only been out for dog walks so that's not that much fun <laughs> and plus I have to hold two leads and I can't really vlog that <laughs> it'll be a nightmare honestly so yeah I have got a few trips planned soon I'm going to Alton Towers I literally can't wait and I'll probably vlog a another trip at some point um but the Alton Towers one that's going to be on the 12th of June so I know it's a little bit longer to wait I'm probably going to upload another video between this and then but um yeah fingers crossed I'll be back to vlogging and just it'll be great <laughs> thank you if you are still here like honestly your support means the world and hopefully my content will be great so see you very soon my camera's gonna die